Welcome to Live at the Blue Box. We are now ready to do This Week in Geek. Today is May 30th, 2015. Wow. You got it right. I got it right. So, uh, you know, sorry to the people on Twitch. We're not on Twitch tonight. Oh, man. So they can't see my beautiful face. Having some camera issues. Technical difficulties. So technical difficulties. So, uh, but we will, next week, we're planning on hopefully being on Twitch and hopefully being on YouTube live next week. Ooh, fancy. Yeah. What is going on? I'll be getting a haircut. Alil, you've got things to shave and clean up. (laughs) Edward, someday you'll have things to shave and clean up. <laughs> All right, so uh, oh, let's introduce ourselves. Uh, let's start down on that end. Uh, my name is Alil Kanitza. I do many podcasts, including Enough Said, This Week in Geek, and the League of Geeks podcast, and that's Geeks with a Z. I'm Scott Sammons, and I um, just sit in when Rob needs an extra... Extra mouth to yap. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and Scott is a bit of a, a super fan now. You're here a lot. so Yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's turned into a really fun Saturday night. Excellent. <laughs> I, I'm glad we can, that you're part of it and that we can uh, provide. Yeah. And I'm, I love it when you're up here, so that's how you ended up here. Uh, a little you're out. Uh, okay, and Edward. Right, cool. I'm going to watch Game 7. <laughs> All right. I'm Edward Lee, your regular co-host of This Week in Geek. I thought you were an owner. Yeah. So then last week. All right, and then I'm Rob Southgate. All right, so let's move ahead. Lots of news this week, I think. I did not do my homework. Did you guys do your homework? I, I already, yes. I, 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 I want to start with something amazing. Okay. Do it. All right, so, there, and I was actually just is talking it about Asa this Butterfield earlier. again? Huh? No, it is not. It is. Okay, so there, there's, this, there's this movie on YouTube right now called Kung Fury. Oh. Yes. It is 32 minutes of amazing glory you know, that you can watch. Dinosaur. It was a Kickstarter. These guys from Sweden, uh, I think, I, th- I uh, forgot their, their production company, it's something Unicorn, um, but they made a great movie. They, they had a Kickstarter up for 200 grand. They got 650 based on the trailer that they shot, and he made a great movie. I don't want to give away some spoilers because there's, there's a cameo there. That you won't expect at the end, some '80s gold cameo, oh. and that and that cameo Shut on up. top of it also also made a music video for the movie, and the music video for the movie is awesome. Like he sang the song; it's his song that he wrote for the movie. It's yeah, yeah. Great, great '80s soundtrack, just craziness. And Adolf Hitler is the villain who oh. travels through time. And you just said everything I like. See, wait, wait, dinosaurs. I, there, I, there's I dinosaurs. I, there I think is, I've mentioned that I started Vikings. five stars and we work our way down. You have done nothing to take it down from five it, stars. It is not. We, we, uh, I, You're pumping up the five stars. Dinosaurs, kung fu, 80s icons. This is yes. all good. He, he got his power because he was struck by lightning and bitten by a cobra at the oh same time. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> it is... So great. We re- we actually recorded a show for the League Geeks last night, a bonus episode, just reviewing that movie, and wow. it was it was like forty five minutes of us just laughing. Like, so you did I a forty five minute podcast about a thirty minute show. Yes, this sounds like one of our shows. <laughs> yes, because we couldn't. We, it was just so amazing. We had to keep going and talking about oh, stuff. I can't wait. So it's on YouTube. It's on YouTube. It's free. Check it out. Kung Fury. Kung and, and you want to know Hitler's name? Fury. Is Kung Fuhrer. Yeah, Kung Fuhrer. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did you see it, Edward? Um, I saw just like maybe a minute of it because one of my friend's family was watching it. So okay. he told me the ba- main story about it. Was it half an hour? Did you have to get kicked out of the room? I don't know. I'm they probably going to watch it, though. Uh, 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 violence, it is, I'd say probably an hour. Yeah, they have, they have raptors with laser eyes. Wait, this is just <laughs> brilliant. This is like... The greatest movie ever. It, it, it's close. It's the end of movies. You know, this is going to make Avengers 2 look like crap. It, it, it reminds me of the Tenacious D song when they're making the best song. Yes, and, and it's all that it's stuff. It's just like that. It's uh-huh. like they just threw everything you can imagine in. It's the greatest song ever, but it's just a tribute. But exactly. it did sound a lot like this. <laughs> yes. This is actually it. So it, like, it literally like made my day, made my night. It, I'm wow. smiling just talking about this movie. All right. And it was a free YouTube movie. Go check it out. Uh, I'm right. watching it tonight when I get home. You, you will not be disappointed. 
All right. Unless I've overhyped it for you, and then no, <laughs> you almost could. You said Raptors with laser eyes. Yes. I mean, it's already. I'm in. It's your dream movie. Yeah, and uh, Kung Fuhrer. Uh, Kung Fuhrer. I, I mean, come on. The Kung Fuhrer. You can't go wrong with any of that. And and hey, for for the We Know Games guys, one of the guys is wearing a power glove. <laughs> Brandon already That's watched totally it. That's totally rad. <laughs> yeah, Triforce. Oh. Triforce. Bra- Brandon's um, oh. fanboy. Uh, the fan he fanboyed about. Triforce had it on. That's awesome. No, but in this movie, a guy's wearing the power glove. So it's but the guy's awesome. actually Triforce. He doesn't stick it in a turkey, does he? Like no. Goldberg's? No, but it's awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm going to get to the disappointing news. That sounds awesome. I'm going to do the disappointing news first. <laughs> Tron 3 is not happening. Oh, oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. Dude. Tron 3 was pulled because they, what they say is Tomorrowland underperformed. Right. So Disney said, ah, we're not going to bother. That makes no sense to me. The, the, no, Tron it, it 2 does. made a ton of money. It did not make a ton no. of money. Well, Tron more than this is making. Tron 2's domestic box office almost broke even. So, But then you don't count the marketing and everything that they put in for Tron. Right, right, of course. Disney's been trying to pump Tron up since Tron Legacy in 2010 for the last five years, and they, and they just people aren't going for it. They had a cartoon. The parks had a bunch of stuff going on for it. And oh, it, no, but it, was, it was not really? doing anything. I, we I, were, do, I do I was in, say the cartoon was awful. Well, I, I, that's, that's a that problem. Thing, I mean, so if you're putting out bad. a good product... Put the money into the into the scripting and that. Put out a good product, and you're going to be fine. Yeah, it just it just didn't it didn't it didn't make what it what it was expecting. Okay. And then if you go back and you look at the movies that Disney's putting out outside of live action princess movies, Star Wars, and Marvel, everything else that they've been doing has failed. John Carter, right. Lone Ranger, now Tomorrowland didn't do it, it's, and, I, and I enjoy Tomorrowland. Yeah. And I think people should see it, but I don't think it for two hundred million dollars to make that. That's where, well, maybe that's where that's, they're going to fail. Maybe that's where their problem is. They're taking properties that are unproven for them. Like Marvel, those are proven properties. Okay, uh, You take Lone Ranger, that's an older property. It's unproven at this point yep. in this era. Don't make a $200 million movie out of it. I, yeah, you, you've got to start with your... Put $100 million into it, right? Y- yeah. 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 Your, the, your little ones. You've got to start with something that you can have the assets in place for that you can right. quickly expand on, but... And like Jan- John Carter. John, John Carter's a great Carter. example. People love this did, movie, but it, it didn't yeah. do well, and it was well, the marketing screwed it up. The name is terrible, and and I still, I'm still i still bothered by the fact that it was live action. Yeah. Because um, I, I read the John Carter books as, uh, you know, as an adult, and I just, just thought they were wonderful, but when I heard uh, the fellow from Pixar was doing it, I'm like, oh, this will be an awesome animated yeah, series. Yeah, yeah. And then it was a live action, and then they dropped all of the Mars references, right? From oh, yeah. the marketing, it's like so. John so, Carter yeah, it didn't work. You, no. you, you see this guy running around in the desert. Well, who cares about John in the desert? Right. So uh, I guess you know, I bet somebody who really has to go cares about a John in the desert. <laughs> <laughs> I would have called somebody, it. Somebody John, got a weird thing about peeing outside. <laughs> I would have called it John Carter versus a Princess of Mars. Or well, something, that's a you long know, because if they were afraid of a princess or, of Mars or whatever, but set it up as a versus, right? You yeah. know, so you've got a conflict. Or you could do Don Carter of Mars. Well, I think well, they're they not doing any of it at this point. Well, I mean, yeah. I, I think anyways, that's what they should do. The issue with John Carter, yes, the marketing probably wasn't the greatest for it, but you look at the generation that's going out to the theater more so now; they don't know the source material. Right. right, and they needed to do they needed to do something to pump up the source material to right. get people to go see the, to read it, understand what's going on, and then be excited for the movie. Well, and to just yeah. call it John Carter and then show some big white apes in the preview, it yeah, it didn't do it for people. No. They didn't know what was going on. I yeah. didn't want to see it. I didn't see it in the theater. Yeah, I mean, I saw it on Netflix and it was amazing. That's the only reason how I got to it. Yeah, everyone that I've talked to who's seen it loved it. It's I have it on Blu-ray. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, it's amazing. I I haven't. I, I, my interest died when I heard it was live action instead of animated. Sure. So I'll get around to it someday, but uh, well, it's not high on the list. And, and Taylor Kitsch was miscast. Taylor Swift? She was in it? Kitsch. Or, <laughs> Same um, difference. Because I, I, they both sing about their ex-boyfriends and they're mad at them. That's everyone, including I've, I've, Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber. They're mad at Justin Bieber, too. Who isn't? <laughs> I, I, I've seen it. I don't agree with Edward that it was amazing. I thought it was good. 
but again, you're such a hater. It's oh, a movie, right. but it's a movie that shouldn't have cost 250 million dollars. Right. That's, oh, yeah, that's, the, that's the problem. That's, that's the problem because they, every, everybody wants to make a tent pole. Right. They think they need 200 million dollars plus to do it because they want to break these sp- these sequels off. But if you look at all these movies that have had big sequels on on these tent poles, they've come in on movies that have cost. Lot, a lot less, and then they grow into those budgets. Look, look yeah. at what Marvel did. Yeah. yeah, I mean, Iron Man was. I mean, Iron Man was essentially an indie film. They were shopping for a network with, or for a, a studio with that. They, they did that on their own, and they did it comparatively on the cheap. Yeah, really. You know, well, hundred million is still not cheap. Yeah, but hmm. compared to what, like Disney pumps two hundred million in at the drop of a hat, and then they lose, and they go, "Why didn't this work? Yeah. Let's kill that property." No. Tron could be great. I didn't see the second movie. It, I, I heard that the story was weak. Yeah, the story. Visually, it was great, but the story was weak. Right. Yeah, it I wasn't. See that. I mean, it wasn't really super deep, but with the the, the look of it and getting Jeff Bridges back and uh, the music, it was. It's an enjoyable experience right. to watch. Yeah. But if they if they put their money into a script. They could even make the effects essentially look like 1980s Tron. If the script was that solid, people would be flocking to it. Yes. Like Kung Fury. <laughs> right. Like they're going to do with Flash Gordon, because you know they're, they're going to make it look like that 80s Flash Gordon. They better. <laughs> yeah, because if they make it look all slick, and it's not going to be the same. No. no. So what were we talking about? I already got lost. We talked about Tron. Uh, Tron. Tron. Okay. Tron. So bad news is it's not happening. Yeah. John Carter actually reverted back to the family, I guess. So they are actually shopping for a studio to continue the series the right way. They were very yeah. disappointed with how it was handled. So there's the good news there. That was yeah. something that came out this week. Okay. Uh, what do you got? Uh, I got the Transformers three uh, Transformers three movie, which is now called Transformers one. Wait, Transformers three movie. Uh, the developing a Cybertron original movie title. Right, right. It's not Transformers, Transformers 3, because no, yeah. we've already had four okay. movies. Yeah. <laughs> it's Transformers, Transformers 5. It's the first, sta- no, but it's the first standalone. Yes. First Because they're trying to do that universe Spin-off. building thing, too. Spin-off. Yeah, yeah. They're doing the universe building thing, too. The first one is called Transformers 1. Yeah. And, and it's, it's about Cybertron. Correct. Right. So it's, so, it's going to be huge prequel. Yeah. And you know what? I'm going to see it, and then I'm going to be mad at myself. It's it's like Stockholm syndrome when I watch these things, you know. I just I hate I hate it, I hate it. But I keep going back because a part of me loves it. Oh, I hate it! I hate Transformers. It makes me so mad. Is that how you describe Stockholm so- syndrome? That's my Stockholm syndrome. Yes. Yeah. Okay. My captor holds me. <laughs> my captor holds me, and I love it. <laughs> but you Come on, who hasn't it. been there? Brandon Triforce, <laughs> Stockholm syndrome with him. Yep. I know. All right, what's up, what's up next? Uh, oh, Lee, okay. I got more bad news. Oh, okay. It looks like it isn't going to happen. That that kid from Maze Runner was supposed to play Pennywise, which sounded okay, but the director has stepped out, and now they're saying they think they're going to cancel the project. No. I thought it looked cool. I th- I, I thought they were going the right way with this thing. It is time to do that story justice. It was a TV movie. First half was great. Second half fell apart. Even in the book, it kind of fell apart. You yeah. could redo this thing, do it right, and scare the hell out of another generation. I would be down with that. Unlike they did with Poltergeist, which I heard is terrible. <laughs> I thought it was, looked good, but it, I heard it's terrible. Oh. I don't know. I'm going to see it tomorrow. Okay. Anybody see Poltergeist yet? No. Oh, I'm yes. going tomorrow. Not the original, the new one. You saw the new one? Yeah. What would you think? Not scary at all. The, even the clown's not scary in it, right? No. We have a clown oh, that's going to show up later. Man. That's going to scare the hell out of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, it's, no. it's, it's a little with body paint. <laughs> yeah, his name is Pike. Everybody wants to see that, though. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, no one. Yeah. I, I, Poltergeist looked cool. It has Sam Rockwell in it. I thought it was going to be good. And then it came out, and like the first review I read, like AV Club is like, Oh yeah, this isn't good. <laughs> like, this is not. There's nothing good in this. It's like, oh, that's Man. that's disappointing. I actually saw the first Poltergeist movie with my dad, and it wasn't very good because there's so many. Movies How dare you? It. How dare you? What the first? 
Yes, I love it. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, I That's grew up just fighting anything. in the crowd. <laughs> so, I got something. I, I have one. You got something. Star Wars. Oh, Star Wars. Oh. Wait, oh, yes. Star Wars? Yes. What's this? Star Wars. Andy Serkis, of course, will be CGI. Yes, <laughs> of course. And he's going to be playing Supreme Leader Snoke. Yes. Supreme Leader Snow? I don't Snoke. know that character. S N O K. Oh, I thought it was going to be the Donald Sutherland character from like the Hunger Games. Over Hunger yes. Games. He comes over from, from his Hunger Games ship. and <laughs> That'd be awesome. The Hunger Games. Everything smells like roses. Chewie gets angry. Every time, every time the roses smell comes in, Chewie's <laughs> <laughs> that, That's when you can what? tell he's near. Uh, wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. <laughs> What's the matter, boy? <laughs> That it's sounded shit. terrible. I don't, so, so you don't know was, what you're doing. That was smell actually, roses. See, I'm doing Harrison Ford and Chewy. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's all bad. It's all terrible. It was actually pretty good. <laughs> Look at that. Edward liked it. Yeah, but Edward Sorry, had but those pace. special effects were special. <laughs> all right. What, so, okay, S. so he's playing Grand Andrew Roll Fawn. So, yeah, probably. <laughs> there's, there's no reason to even talk to you. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Supreme, uh, Supreme Leader Snoke. Okay. So it looks like he will be, at this point, leading the uh, the empire or whatever they're going to be. Or whatever the, the, yes. the bad guys are. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is he related to Leslie Snow? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got a giggle out of him. No, but I got a giggle out of him. Man. Ed- Edward, Edward needs Snow. to go to bed. What? John yeah. Snow. John Snow. You. <laughs> oh man. You know There's nothing, Edward. Edward. You know nothing, John Snow. <laughs> Look at that! I even got Harrison Ford and Game of Thrones in this one. I am on fire tonight. <laughs> Somebody yeah, will set you doing. on fire by the end of the night. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, okay, you had something. Go I ahead. Pay for the gasoline. So, what's your name? Oh, I've got a big one coming up here. Oh my uh, gosh. Tilda Tilda Swinton. Tilda Swinton. Yes. Oh, she's, this is a good one. She's yep. going to play the ancient one in the Doctor Strange movie. Well, yes. it's rumored. It's not final yet. It's rumored, but you know it's what? It's rumored, but that's awesome. That's happening. It mm-hmm. is. Yeah, and all the fanboys that we know have gone crazy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. So. You should see. So we have we have a thread, because Alil and I are both on Nuff Said, and we have a thread, a private thread on Facebook for all the guys that are part of the Nuff Said universe that are, that are on the various shows part of Nuff Said. Oh my goodness! They were very upset. Those geeky boys went crazy. We don't care. We're like, it's awesome. We can't say that though, because <laughs> oh my god! I didn't say anything. After it's I like, saw uh, the, the nerd backlash is unbelievable. The, there was there was literally a, a fifty page yes. essay yes. written on Facebook Messenger yes. about why this is wrong and. And, it and was and Charlie's manifesto. Not, yeah, I was just like, I'm just like, I'm not even responding to this. I'm like, that's, that's Char- fine. Charlie's super connectivity manifesto. <laughs> oh, so, Charlie, when you're, Charlie, so when you're listening time. to this, I'm sorry, but it doesn't bother me. <laughs> right. I'm, I think it's great. I, I like I, that I, idea. I, like I think her. it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Scott, what do you think? Um, I'm not He's like over here nerd Strange. rage. I don't want to say anything. I'm not familiar with the Doctor Strange. Uh, okay. So. Good enough. Then just be excited. It's okay. a good thing. I am. All right, this is a great thing. This might be the best news on here. Robert Rodriguez is set to direct Johnny Quest. Oh, yeah. Cool. See, the only thing I know about that is the commercials from Boomerang. From Boomerang? (laughs) When I was a little kid, that's all I watched, so that's all I know about it. Now, is he doing a live action or animated? Live action. Uh, live action. Okay. How dare you? <laughs> this is going to be doing Johnny Quest. It's going to be that. Remember the robot with the eye? I, it's going to be I remember Jack the, the dog or whatever his name is and Johnny Quest. It's going to be awesome. Is that Bandit. His name? Bandit. Bandit the dog. That's like cool, Jed. Is that from Annie? <laughs> well like, played. Wait, what? Cal Penn plays Haji. Cal Penn plays Haji. This is coming together. This is awesome. Oh, I'm so down with this. I'll give it a I, chance. And it's Robert Rodriguez. I'll give it Did a chance. Did you guys see Predators? Yeah. Not, not Adrian Brody dirty. should play the dad. Not, no, the scientist. The, the, yeah, I was going to say, he's not yes. the dad. Not the dad. No, Brack Samson was, is going to be gonna the dad. Be the, <laughs> he was going to be the rock. The rock. They were, well, they were looking at what? this years ago. And the rock was actually attached to this property. To be the dad. Yeah. And oh, Cal wow. Penn. Well, not okay, Cal, who, who could be Johnny Quest? Well, don't that's make, the problem. 
Asa Sh- Butterfield. Shia LaBeouf. No, Asa no, Butterfield's already no. Spider Man. He's not going to be in two properties. A- Asa oh. Butterfield. No, it's going to be Chris right. Pratt God. because he's in everything. <laughs> That's true. Chris well, Pratt is a 30 year old Johnny Crow. No, not Shia LaBeouf. I already said Tom that. Hardy. <laughs> Tom Hardy with 20 words in the whole movie. I already said that, so don't worry. It's like, yeah. why has Johnny Quest got a mask over his face? Because he's Tom Hardy. <laughs> why are you strapped to the car? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hardy, I'm Johnny Quest. <laughs> that's, oh, that's my bane. I just lost it. <laughs> my impressions you, you are so bad. You are full of them tonight. <laughs> I'm not going to do this. I don't really think You know, I, I'm excited for the property. I like Robert Rodriguez. I love Robert I like, Rodriguez. I like the Spy Kids movies because this movie is going to be based That would not be children. my go-to, but that's great. <laughs> But, but you got to look at it. This is a kid's movie. It's a kid's property. Nope, not... it's my movie. <laughs> okay, it is not your movie. It is my movie. As we said, yes, well. Yeah, well <laughs> How dare you? I, I, Security, get that old woman out of here. This is all going to be based on what the casting is for Johnny Quest. Whoever Johnny yes, Quest whoever Johnny this Quest movie is, will live and die with that Quest. But yeah, it's, yeah. it's Robert Rodriguez doing this. I have high hopes for it. I do. How was Predators? I love Predators. Did you guys yeah. see Predators? You I see enjoyed Predators? it. No, I've not Did seen it. Did you see it? Yeah, I enjoyed it. It was good. Yeah. Anybody else see Predators? The, you guys are too busy playing games. You saw it? Did you like it? With Adrian Brody? Yeah. This is a good movie. You didn't see it. Don't make that face. Yeah, that was a great movie. I thought it was cool. Right, I love Adrian Brody. Right, I'll look out for that. I mean, that skinny guy being a tough guy was awesome. <laughs> It was like it was like uh, uh, Steve Buscemi being the tough guy in an '80s action movie. <laughs> that, uh, Which hello, hello, awesome. action that, that, that is a good. That is a good. Uh, Thank you. I, I'll give you that. <laughs> Thank you, Buscemi. I win this week in geek this week. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't know it was a competition. <laughs> oh, because Kung Fury wins this you, week. You're gonna bring your A game, huh? All right. So I, I have another. Edward one. moving us right ahead. Because <laughs> I know none of this. Uh, <laughs> Batman will is confirmed. Batman. I saw him on Boomerang once. Bateman, <laughs> Jason Bateman. So Justine Batman will Bateman. be confronting Joker Justine. in the new Suicide, Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad. Do I yes. Have yes. Did you guys care about these? Okay, I don't, I don't we, even have a week, tablet in front of me, and I know what he's saying. Every <laughs> week, there's new pictures of Jared Leto as the Joker, and new pictures of Suicide Squad, and every week we do the same thing. Well, they're, they're filming. I don't really they're care. Filming, they're filming. It looks like they're, what they're doing is they're filming an early scene of the movie. Because it's it's the Joker and Harley and Batman's Batman. in them too. It's yeah, it, which makes sense if they're if they're telling the Suicide Squad the, the way they probably are going to tell it, where the Joker ends up in jail, and it's Harley and the and the group that is the Suicide Squad breaking into Arkham Asylum. This makes sense to be an opening sequence in the movie with right. Batman with Batman involved. Right. And the, the scenes are pretty cool. I mean, I, I don't. Joker's got a purple Lamborghini with like crazy. And it says ha 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 on it. By the license plate. I, I, I don't know, man. Uh, it looks awesome for I me. I don't know. It looks He's awesome like for me. Beach tattoos and a grill. <laughs> They're going to beach tannins. Amazing. Yeah. Everything that I've seen so far looks awesome to me, flies except in. for the grill. I don't like the grill. You don't like the grill? No, I don't. But you think the rest of it's awesome? Wait, you don't like, you don't like Harley Quinn? You don't like Margot, uh, Margot Robbie? Oh, I so do. I said I liked everything but the grill. That's what I'm saying. You don't like Margot Robbie? He said the grill, not oh, the, the girl. Grill. I, I, oh, I can't, the I can't understand him. grill. All right, grill. the grill. Yes. Uh, grill. Who doesn't grill like Margot Robbie? Robbie? Well, that's what I was going to say. If, if, if he's not, we might have to, you know. I know he's only 12, but. <laughs> I don't like Margot Robbie. I don't she like girls. So funny. Girls have cooties. <laughs> wait, but wait. Croc, Killer Croc looks like garbage. Oh, Killer Croc, Killer is Croc the worst. looks like garbage. Killer Croc I, is the worst. You know, I'm not excited about this movie. I want to move on. This I is am. not making I, me happy. It's just not making a, me happy. Um, David Duchovny oh. cried when he read the script for the X Files. So, so you guys know they're they're redoing the X Files, right? They're gonna put out uh, like a six what? or eight episode. It's not like we haven't talked about this for the last. Three yeah, but you months. guys aren't the only ones in the room. I know you, you're narcissists and you think so, but uh, I'm always the only one in the room. But David Duchovny it came out this week that he read the script and cried. Um, I mean, come on. He also cried reading the script of uh, California Cations. That was on a shame. Careful, Lil. Careful. Well, that's the title of a show. Yes. <laughs> oh, he's, I'm being threatened here. I, 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 out there I think he's auditioning for Spider-Man 3 because there's lots Sweet. of crying in that, as we know. I, I, do, I did cry also. Yeah. 
So, yeah, David Duchovny cries. That was that story. Uh, Fox <laughs> is developing a new League of Extraordinary Gentlemen movie. Yes. Yep. Now, they have talked I, about how there's supposed to be a TV show, which I was excited about. Now there's a movie. Please let Sean so, Connery be back in it again and just redo the whole thing. Yes, no, no, uh, ju- just another one. Just another Just another one. Yes, th- and, that movie was just amazing. Just as bad and said in the same thing. I, it doesn't awesome. matter. It was an amazing movie. Yes. Did you guys like, did you see it, Scott? N- no, I read the original comic and I didn't care for it. No, the movie's it's a great How dare concept. you? It's a great concept. But How dare you? The comic was great. It's a great concept and there's some great set pieces, but... Yeah, I, 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 it didn't loose, connect for you. It didn't connect. No, that's, some of it was just too that's mystery men. <laughs> but you know what? The movie is very different than the comic. And like Billy yeah, no, the Kid no is in the movie, is not no in the yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. yeah. No, Tom Sawyer is it? Tom Sawyer. Tom Sawyer. Yeah, Tom yes. Sawyer's in the movie, not in the comic. I, I love the concept. Yeah, I, I love the concept. But, yeah. Well, yeah. I totally am down with it. When you see. Yes. Uh, when you see the submarine, oh, it's <laughs> it's like the greatest thing ever. It's amazing. I, I saw it like once when I was Captain sick. Nemo. It's Captain Nemo's oh, yeah. submarine. Captain EO is even Captain better. EO. <laughs> now that would be amazing. I'll be seeing that this week. Oh. Captain <laughs> Emo. That's that's Martha, my wife. She's Captain Emo. No, no. It's oh, Captain David and Company El- could be Captain no. Emo. No, no, Captain Ooh, Elmo. I'm crying. Elmo. Yes, Captain Elmo. <laughs> that, oh, only a twelve year old would make that joke. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> the sad thing is that character has to stay 50 feet from any kids that are in the theater. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because you don't have yep, to tickle on that I went Elmo. there. Uh, okay, who has another one? Or I'm going to move okay, people going I on. a small uh, one. He's got a small one. Uh, another, there's another <laughs> teaser. <laughs> Go ahead, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> there's another teaser for Ash vs. Evil Dead. Oh. Yes, I didn't see it. Was it the teaser? It is, it is, very, it is very evocative of the mood. It's basically a puddle of blood and a bloody chainsaw. That's it. Okay. That's it. <laughs> Take my money. Take no, my I'm money. I'm in on this one. Uh, yeah, this is going to be... When does this air? Do we have a, a date? Um, it's got to be like a, uh, September, October, right? Uh, He's fall. talking about Ash versus the Evil Dead. It's going to be a, an, a, a show, a TV show. Yeah. From and it's on this fall. On and Stars. Sam Raimi's involved and... What Stars. Stars. Oh. Yep. And I... And the, the previews are just, I saw the first one and it was just like a cartoon of like twigs going like this and then you hear the, a chainsaw go off and it's like, oh my gosh, I'm already in. And then the second one he said is just blood in a chainsaw. I, I'm in. Yeah. They, the third one just has to be a voiceover going groovy. I will be <laughs> done. Yep. Take my money. Mm-hmm. Mark my I, words, I, it's gonna be awesome. You know I love Bruce Campbell. I own awesome. five copies of his books, all signed. I've I've paid more to meet that man than anything else I've ever done. Wow! <laughs> I love Bruce Campbell. I I love him. <laughs> I want to be friends with Bruce Campbell. I've tried many times. Well, keep buying. He will his not books. tweet me back. <laughs> keep buying his books. Yeah. Keep, keep buying his books. I'm his stalker. And yeah, I'm sure. I, I think I know Bruce why a little. <laughs> um. <laughs> I shot that smart. Yeah, it's true. Um, uh, <laughs> let's see. What do we have on here? Uh, oh, uh, I have one. Yeah. Uh, Kellerman's going to be in the new X Men Apocalypse movie. Okay. It's a mo- mutant tracker. That's right. Hunting down mutants. That's part of a part of the part of the Apocalypse is four horsemen. Right. Yes. Okay. So, yeah, when, when they showed that little preview at the end yeah, the of more, Days of Future Past, you saw the four horsemen up on the thing. A lot of speculation who they would be. That's one of yeah. them. Yep. And the uh, Morlocks? The Morlocks. He's one of the main guys from the Morlocks. So okay. So, hopefully. Hopefully there'll be Morlocks? Yeah. All right. All right. I don't know about I'm, that. I'm not passing judgment like I do on Suicide Squad yet. I'm, I'm waiting to see what happens. I love that last movie, but something about this production is making me a little iffy. I don't know. Right, the X-Men? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> kind of like how I feel about Deadpool. Yeah. I know, Edward. I know. That, that finished, yes, that th- finished, thank you. That finished yeah. filming. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Deadpool just finished filming. Yeah, I know it did. Yes. I, I hope it's good. Oh. I hope all of this is good. I'm going to hey, watch all of it. There's, yeah. n- there's more news about Deadpool. It's surprising. <laughs> I always find it. All right, so... Wolverine may make a cameo in the Deadpool movie. It's not that he may. Ryan Reynolds is pushing for it. It it depends on, uh, they say... uh, If they can back up a Brinks truck of money to his house. (laughs) (laughs) 
But yeah, they made it almost done with eight, eight million, million dollars <laughs> because they already finished filming. All they're gonna do is they're gonna bring a camera into Hugh oh, Jackman's schedule. house while he's sitting there, like and be like, "Just say something," and then they're gonna they're gonna come out. Hey, hey Bob, just, just, just do film that. him and eating dinner. Yeah, just be eating dinner. Well, 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 maybe it's gonna be <laughs> my like, dinner with Logan. <laughs> huh? So. Maybe it's gonna be like the first class movie. He just swears at them. Right. Yeah. yeah. Which, Which is I'm amazing. sure he got paid a fortune for. So no, it would be best if he swears at Deadpool and Deadpool kills him. <laughs> That's a perfect. Are you having a little fanfic thing going no, on no, over no, here? No, I, I have to write we need to take notes on this. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's true. True, true. Um, oh, Hulk Hogan. Oh, you're jumping on one. All right, let's hear it. Uh, Hulk Hogan says he will be in Expendables Four. Awesome. <laughs> now wait a minute. So awesome. <laughs> He it's says he'll be in Expendables 4, but I've heard there isn't an Expendables 4. <laughs> yeah. He's making no, it in his no, own head. He, That's right, brother. I'm going to be in Expendables 4. Even he's, worse, he says he's going to be the villain. He's like, I'm bringing in Roddy Piper. I'm bringing in the fourth. I Ultimate would go World, to the yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine Roddy Piper in that? That would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that is true. They don't live. don't Great, redo Grey Lamp Piper movie. Make a sequel that starts out the first forty five minutes are still a continued fight scene from the last movie. <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> it, okay. I mean, and think Can't, how cheap that would be. I think it's one of the property. <laughs> I mean, that thing. What did it cost? Like ten thousand dollars to make that whole movie? Disney could just make a whole bunch of them. Be awesome. <laughs> ten, ten of them. <laughs> Right, I'm down with that. Um, well, I can think of two reasons I like this idea. Uh, anyone, you've heard of Fantastic Beasts and where they're found. It's that the they're, Harry they're, Potter. they're doing yeah. Harry Potter, more Harry Potter movies based on that. Um, there's a rumor that Kate Upton is up for a part in that. Oh, I can think of two reasons Whoa. I'm excited for that movie. <laughs> Thank you. I, I still confuse Kate Upton with Kate Middleton. Why? I don't know. It's just... I, I, I Why? Have because the prince is a real boob? Thank I, you. Thank you. <laughs> I got it finally! <laughs> <That's> terrible. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> terrible, terrible, terrible. Why would you confuse... Just because the name Kate? I, and, and they both end in, in the tin sound. Upton Middleton. So I have to stop and think how which often, one, which one is the often, Duchess of Wales and which is the actress. How often do you have to stop and think about the actress or the, or the model or the Duchess? You know, with, how often does this really come up in your life, Scott? I, I try to avoid news of the royalty, but it comes up often enough with the royal babies and everything. I'm like, the actress had a baby with the prince? What? Well, that's why you've got to stop buying People magazine and <laughs> I, Teen <laughs> Beat it's in and the Tiger Beat store. and all that it's, kind of it's stuff. Like a corridor of doom trying to buy groceries and those tabloids <laughs> are, are, are on the things there. You welcome to Walmart and just, our corridors just has, of doom. You just have stacks of them. Just like, it, it gets bigger and bigger. Yeah. <laughs> Every single time you buy food, you get like an inch bigger. Yeah. Wow. Um, did you guys see the, uh, there were pictures released, like visual effects pictures from the World of Warcraft movie. Did you guys oh, see yes, any I of did. that stuff? Yeah, yes. the, um, the one, that they based it off the Hulk. <laughs> I don't know how this is possible, but it looks so good. I think this it could does. be really, really awesome. And I don't know how that's possible. I thought, they're making a World of Warcraft movie. Eh. Now I'm like, I saw that... that it's the Warcraft movie. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Nerd alert. Uh, it's, it's just a Warcraft movie. But that orc guy looked awesome. Yeah. I don't play it, so, you know... Uh, I, don't lie. Don't lie. Yeah, I, you know. But, but <laughs> when, when, once you start, you just can never stop. Once I lost seven years of my life, I stopped playing. <laughs> right. I have kids? What it's, happened? It's, uh, it's <laughs> double A meeting, triple A meetings just out of the... So, right. I have one. Oh, man. Have you seen The Legend of Conan 1982 film? Of course. What, are you kidding me? <laughs> Have you seen The Legend of Conan? Yeah. Are you kidding and me? This is like breathe my breathe air. Speed. Anything about The Legend of Conan do, 82 do, movie do. is top of the list. Yeah, so Arnold Schwarzenegger will make a sequel to, will be in the I, sequel to that movie. Yes, oh, he will. Wow. He needs to make the sequel to the one when he's in New York. <laughs> oh, please. Hercules in New York. Hercules in New York. <laughs> yes, Electric Boogaloo. Amazing. <laughs> um, yeah, man. 
I am totally excited. It's King Conan, isn't it? Is that the name of it? I think that's what they're going with right now. Because I actually like the Jason Mimosa one. I thought that one was good, but this one, doing a sequel where he's old, awesome. Awesome. That's what we need more of. The legend of Conan. Uh, of, of, movie, of, of movies, you know, you know, we were talking earlier about you know Disney and their known properties. Is take these older ones like this, right? They're and good. Well, here's the deal. Uh, this also came out this week that the guy producing this bought the rights to that author's entire catalog. Ooh. He wants to do universe building because there's all these different stories other than Conan, and he's wow. he's like, this is ripe material. Yeah, and it is. There's great stuff in there. And some of them were things I didn't know, like different properties. I was like, oh, wow, I remember reading that book. I didn't know that was the same guy. This producer bought all of it and said, I plan on producing. Once King Conan makes money, off we go. Nice. And I think it's going to make a fortune. It's, it's not. King, it's not. It's just the legend of Conan. Well, you know what? It's already pre-ordered on Blu-ray it's, in my house. Yeah. So I am so down with wait, that. Wait, Martha, you want to watch Conan with me? How can you pre-order it? Yeah, in it's awesomeness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't believe you asked if we knew what it was. How many people in here have seen Conan from '82? It, it just no. Yeah. Two people. I'm okay. saying everybody. So more than two people <laughs> raising their hands. Yep, my dad did. Four. Yep. I did. This my mom did. She doesn't remember. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> golf, golf mill. Oh my God. Chris and I stood in line at golf mill together. We were at the Century One, Two, Three. Went and saw Conan. <laughs> I'm a little younger than him, so he had to take me in in a baby Bjorn, but still, it was fun. I'm not that much younger. Um, okay, what else do we have here? Ant-Man stills. What? The Ant-Man. Okay, more stills. Yeah. Uh, Chris I, Pine. He is. What? Well, he's doing his homework. I read the stories. Oh, I, I have find a good one. Like I got something. I have a good one. This is an interesting one. This is um, on on. Uh, AMC, I think it's AMC, they're doing their, their Summer of Darkness, I think they're calling it. And what they're doing is they're showing all these classic film noir movies, okay? And, and there's a lot of stuff that, like, when we think of film noir, a lot of, like, people go, oh, yeah, Maltese Falcon, or just a couple, there's a couple basics. But there is a huge pile of these movies in this genre. Here's why I want to bring it up. Today they put out there that they are running a free class in film noir. So you can sign up and there's a full class, like history of it. It goes through the different movies. It is freaking cool. The reason I'm up on this, I took the, I'm taking the edX class right now, the one from Smithsonian on superheroes by uh, Uslan and uh, Stan Lee. Stan Lee. Wow. And I'm really enjoying it. It's just a bunch of videos about superheroes, and you know, it's really cool. I'm not doing any of the homework. Spoiler: do, do you I'm ever? not doing any of the homework, do, and I'm not going to do it for this other one. But I did sign up for it because how cool is that? Edward, do your homework. Stay in school. Don't do drugs. Well, all right, sure. <laughs> you may still have, like don't smoke. Yep. I'm going to get you a card, a laminated card that has everything you're supposed to be doing on it. I'm surprised don't, your mother hasn't given you one don't of those. She'll, she'll make a label of it. She'll she just say. have like ten labels of everything. Right, she's got labels for all of it. I'm surprised that hasn't happened yet. So that film war thing, are you guys into that or am I the only one? You're the only, you're one. The only one. Maybe. Anybody else here think it's cool? You think it's okay. cool. All right. You and I can hold hands and watch Baltese Falcon. Yep. <laughs> I'll do my impressions for you and then you'll say, that's enough. There, there. That's enough. Um, okay. What else do we have on here? Tron no longer. Uh, the one who directed Twilight is directing something else. I don't care. Um, <laughs> Twilight, I don't care. That's oh, this, I got one. I got a good one. I like this guy quite a bit. Anyone know who William Fitchner is? Nope. Fickner. Fickner? Apparently, I don't know who he is. Um, he was in Ninja Turtles, the movie. Which that's not why I care about William Because he's in Fickner. Independence Day 2. He was in Prison Break. We love him in Prison Break. He's the one that... Uh, I don't know. Uh, I could tell you... Well, he's, he's like... <laughs> he usually plays like a slimy like, lawyer or a... 
something. Did you watch the Adam Sandler remake of that football movie? Why am I drawing a blank? Uh, no, don't. Uh, using that? Picking the worst things ever. Because you hate Adam Sandler. That's why I'm bringing it I up. I don't yes. hate Adam Sandler. It's not personal. <laughs> it is you personal. Just, you just no, hate I, Kevin James. James. I pushed you over in the mud. I don't like Kevin James. I think he's <laughs> terrible. He always looks like he's going to cry. You ever notice it? <laughs> I'm sad. I'm not funny. I did like Zookeeper. We watched that with Molly. That was funny. That was a good movie. Other than that, Kevin James could just go away. (laughs) (laughs) He and Julia Roberts could go make a whole series of movies together, and I'll never have to watch any of them. (laughs) Don't like them. You know what? Here's more bad news. Uh, Will Smith's kid. Static uh, Shock. Yeah, Sasha is going to be Static Shock. We called it on here. I said Mark uh, oh Marquez, yes. and it's happening, and that is the worst. Yep. So it's that's only, why it's, Will Smith is in a DC movie to get his kid, Jada Pinkin, Smith, a movie, and he got it. It's Jaden Smith. Yes, Jaden Smith. He's playing Smith. Static Shock in a YouTube series. It's oh, nothing. it's a YouTube right now, series? Right now, that's all it's going to be. Ugh. Please. What else is Jaden done? Even that's too much. Hey, Jaden, uh, the Earth movie. What? He's a big Twitter troll? He, oh, he is. He is. It is awesome. I don't know. He can't be awesome. There's nothing awesome about him. Did anyone see After Earth? Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry I said that those words in a restaurant because now it's going to spoil things because that was the worst movie. Blech. Oh. <laughs> I have I'm trying to look up who's William Fickner. Okay. He's been in a lot of things. Well, as Let's soon as I up. say who he is, you guys are going to be like, oh, I, I know who he is. But I have, a, I have a reason to bring him up. I wrote, wrote Because he's in the Independence Day 2. Oh. Yes, he's yeah. going to be in Independence Day 2, which right there, it's putting it even more on my radar. Uh, he was in Drive Angry, he's in Black Hawk Down, he's in Armageddon, he's in The Dark Knight, he's, he's in, in Perfect Storm, he's in Contact, he's Turtles. in 42 more. That's right, he was the banker in The, in the Dark Knight. Yes, he was the banker in that. I, I just, yes, yes, yes. That's, yes, that's, yes. that's what I with. He, was, in he wasn't Shredder, he was uh, Shredder's I didn't uh, see it, I didn't bother, but son. <laughs> this guy's awesome, and he's always a good time. He was great on Prison Break. If you didn't watch Prison Break, the first two seasons are fantastic. And William Fickner rocks it. He's great in it. How many seasons? So he's going to be an Independence Day. I'm all down with that. Plus, they're bringing back uh, Data in that. So I still don't understand yes. how. how. I, you died? know what? I just watched that movie last week. <laughs> and, and I know he's that dead. scene. And I look at my wife, and I'm I, like, they're bringing him back. They're gonna she do said an, the same thing. How he died. They're going to do an Armin Zola to him. He's going to be on a little oh. monitor, and he's going to be like, Hey, and he's going to make a little data joke on it. Watch yeah. it. Mark my words. It's going to uh, happen. Or he could do the, uh, like, be on a video from the Maze Runner stuff. Yep. Could be anything. That'd be cool. Could be anything. So, yeah, he's going to be in that. Uh, yeah, he's been in just tons of stuff. So I'm going to stop looking at his stuff. Anyone have any more news? Uh, the Fast and Furious 8 poster. Again. Which more. has Yeah. Which has the best creative name ever. There's no... <laughs> Fast and Furious 8. <laughs> That's it. That's all it is. It's not like ah uh, the creativity oozing from this series. It's, it's not you like just fast love aid. this series, man. I, I, I do. enjoy the movie. I do. You bring it up every week. <laughs> it's his Spider-Man, a little. <laughs> it's not no, as good no, as Spider-Man. No, 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 no. That's my Deadpool. De- Deadpool is your Deadpool Spider-Man. and Furious Eight are his two things. Furious. No, it's Fast Eight. Fast Eight, whatever. <laughs> It's Once actually, again, it's actually not. Nobody here cares, so except you. <laughs> except, except. For oh no! Okay, I got one more thing. Speaking of disappointments, did you guys see the pre- preview picture of Bebop and Rocksteady? Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay, the worst so, thing I've ever seen. It's a fifty-year-old so, man with a purple mohawk. It's terrible. I, I don't. I don't get it. It's terrible. So the Ninja Turtle two movie is going to have these two characters, Bebop and Rocksteady. They're popular from the cartoons. Anyone over the age of 30, doesn't care. Uh, I care. I'm over 30. Okay. Anyone over 40 wouldn't care about Bebop and Rocksteady. That's the worst picture. Um, So I am in that camp. When you see this picture, it makes you want to just have the internet shut down. Yeah. It's terrible. just saw it here, and that's... It's terrible. (laughs) It's terrible. It looks like... It looks like... um, 
Like they dressed up the guy that played Fat Albert <laughs> <laughs> as Mr. T with a purple mohawk. And a uh, nose ring. And a nose it, ring. It's, it's not really a ring, it's just a And when he turns square. into a pig, it's going to be horrible and racist and unappealing. I guarantee it. Wait yeah. a minute, all those things sound kind of good to me. I might see this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. oh, it just looks even the, the oh, it's just <laughs> terrible. <laughs> that to the end. It's just terrible. Wow. Okay, <laughs> is that it? Did we get all the news in? I think we did. Yes. All right, that's it. Thank you for listening to this week in Geek, everybody. We will we'll be back next week with more. What? You got more? Go Blackhawks. Go Blackhawks. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Hey, a little got applause. First time ever. How long are we doing this? Eight months. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Has and it, I got food. First time ever? No. Ha, uh, has it been eight months? Well, let's, let's end it. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Blue Box. Everybody. Good night, everyone. Enjoy the food. Enjoy the coffee. We'll be back in a few minutes with the next podcast. <laughs>